Now I want us to go through the syllabus for Diploma in Electrical Engineering Power Option, Telecommunication Engineering, and Instrumentation and Control Engineering. We want to compare the courses offered in Tibet institutions because that's where I'm based and that's where I'm more conversant with. And again, if you look at the way things are happening in our country, there are more and more people graduating from high school. So the demand for technical education is growing. And that's why I decided to create this channel so that I can give you more information on what is being offered in TVET institutions. Remember I said the TVET institutions are the National Polytechnics, the Technical Training Institute, Institute of Science and Technology, and Vocational Training Institutes. If you find this video useful, do not forget to like the video and also remember to leave me a comment because your comment and your likes help this channel grow and therefore be able to create more content for you. So kindly remember to leave me a comment, like the video, and also share the video to a parent who you know has a child in high school or to a student who is in high school. And if you have checked my videos, I've been insisting, let us try to help the youth so that they can be able to make informed career choices early in their life. In fact, I usually insist the best time to make a decision on the career is in Form 1. Not in Form 4 when you have already dropped some of the most important subjects. After leaving Form 4, it's not the time to make a decision on your career. The time to make the decision on the career that you should pursue is when you join Form 1. So that you can choose whether to drop physics if you are not interested in engineering courses or to continue with physics if you're interested to do engineering courses or to drop biology if you're not interested with careers related to biology that is medicine, nursing and so on. So if you happen to come across my video, ensure you share the video to a relative in high school or who has a child in high school. Now I'm to compare the syllabus for the three diplomas that is the Diploma in Electrical Engineering Power Option Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Telecommunication Option, and Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Instrumentation Option. The syllabus that I have here is for Diploma in Electrical Engineering Power Option. For the first year of study, there are units like Communication Skill, Life, life Skill, Information, Communication, and Technology, Entrepreneurship. All of those are common units. This is Engineering Mathematics 1, there is Physical Science, there is Mechanical Science, Material Processing, and Workshop practice, there is engineering drawing, there is electrical principles, and uh, the unit that I usually consider very important for this year of study because that's where they usually start doing more of practice in uh, electrical installation, that is uh, electrical installation technology, there is also solar systems, there is also a bit of electronic, that is analog electronics. That's why I was saying somebody who have done electrical engineering power option by the time they are finishing their third year of study, they have done quite a number of electrical of electronic units. There is also electrical measurement and fourth diagnosis. The last subject here in first year of study. The second year of study mostly dwells on um, power generation and transmission of uh, electrical power though there are also quite an other number of units. If you look at the third year of study for the Diploma in Electrical Engineering Power Option, the third year of study, that is Module 3, is uh, mostly on uh, industrial machines and control. Now let us look for the syllabus for the communication option. I have it here. By the way, if you check here, it's called Diploma in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Telecommunication Options. Also, the first of study mostly does in uh, electrical installation. The this is a basic an engineering student who is doing a diploma should learn how to do installations like whether domestic installations in houses, installations in industry, or installation in a place requiring uh, some networking. So if you look at the syllabus, the entire syllabus for the three years. The first year of study is also supposed to achieve the same thing as for those who are doing the uh, Diploma in Electrical Engineering Power Option and that is electrical installation systems. So they should be able to do electrical installation work. And they are exactly the same unit as in 
diploma in electrical engineering power option so the first year of study tries to achieve the same objective the second year of study mostly dwells on uh, telecommunications they also do control system just like in power option they do analog electronics they do engineering math they Jiriani math is a unit that I mostly teach and is exactly the same thing. This is a digital electronics, there is Jiriani drawing, there is a industrial programming, industrial programmable project controllers, they are just the same business plan, they are the same. The only difference now comes to telecommunication principles and uh, industrial measurements. So these two are the units that you not find in power option. This is where the course starts divert, diverting to become telecommunication engineering. But the other unit in the second year study, they are exactly the same as in Diploma in Electrical Engineering Power Option. Now, if you look at the third year of study, third year of study, that is module 3, it's supposed to achieve knowledge on uh, data communications. Mathematics is the same, it's engineering math, this is a unit I've taught for quite some time. It's the same as in power option. There is also microcontroller technology, industrial organization management, microprocessor system, same as in uh, the other unit. I mean, power option, there is estimating, tendering, engineering service contracts, the same. The trade project, the same. Electromagnetic field theory, the same. But now, this data communication, this networking, this communication system. And that's why the course now becomes more of telecommunication engineering. So mostly, most of the unit in the second and third year of study also are almost similar to those are in, in the power option. If we check the syllabus for the first year of study, also achieve the same objective. That is module one. Mostly does on knowledge on electrical installation. You should be able to install various electrical systems, whether in domestic, industry, or in other areas. The units are the same for the whole year of study. They are similar to those in telecommunication engineering. They are similar to those in power option. All these units they are the same. You can see the basic unit, communication skill, rate skill, information, communication, and technology. All those entrepreneurship, the basic units of study, and then at the fired here, there is also solar system and electrical installation technology, which is supposed to give them knowledge on how to do electrical installation work. In the second year of study, the, that is module two, supposed to achieve knowledge on uh, industrial measurements. At instrumentation and that's why it's called instrumentation engineering notice also they do control instrumentation goes with control in fact a lot of time the course is called instrumentation and control engineering they some of the units are the same there's analog electronics engineering math digital electronics engineering drawing and design similar to those in uh, other options telecommunication and power option there's also industrial and programmable project controllers. And then the different ones start coming when you go to industrial measurements and industrial systems. So these two are the major difference when it comes to this uh, field or branch of electrical engineering. And then there is a third year of study. It's supposed to achieve telemetry Telemetry and networking. Telemetry is all about uh, measurement in remote points and transmission of the measured values. The other units are the same. So look at these engineering maths, similar to other areas, like microcontrollers, industrial organization and management, microprocessors, estimation, tendering, and engineering service contracts. Basically, it's all the same stuff. And then there is a um, the major difference now comes to when these units, which are industrial measurements to industrial electronics and the telemetry and networking. 
basically the three courses we produce somebody who is uh, well grounded in other areas but not 100% conversant with all the areas and that's why I had said when you come to job sector or in the market their responsibilities and the skills required could be considerable different. I will not be able to do the comparison for the degree because it's not as easy to get the syllabus for the degree and then the degree courses they vary a little bit from university to university. They will have slightly different names but they are supposed to achieve or almost the same results. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to leave me a comment. Share the video to a student who you know is in high school or to a parent that you know has a child in high school. I believe the best way to predict your future is by planning it. Start thinking about your careers right from form one.